Hello students, today we are going to learn about the topic half tone and dithering techniques. First, let's see what the half tone is. Half tone is a process of generating the binary pattern of black and white dots from an image. Now, this half tone is generally used in the newspaper, magazine, or books with a printing process. Okay, so it says that a continuous tone photographs are replaced, are reproduced for publication in newspaper, magazine, and books with a printing process called as half toning, and reproduced pictures are called half tones. So, as an example, we see we always see the sharing as a continuous tone image. So this is a continuous tone image, but it is actually made up of the pixels with the combination of black and white dots. So here, as we have seen, number of black dots are there, which are arranged in a certain pattern to produce a continuous tone. So if we zoom it, we will see each individual pixel, but it is nothing but a half tone image. So in a figure, a tiny dot located at the center is simulated in a digital half toning by filling the center half tone cell. Okay, so these are the number of cells which are arranged in a grid pattern. Okay, if we fill this particular pixel, we will see here a dot. Okay, if we zoom it, we can see that we have filled one certain pixel with a black color. Likewise, a medium sized dot is located at the top left corner. It's simulated by filling the four cells at the top left corner. Now, as we have seen, this is the one black dot in a top left corner. But actually, if we zoom it, we can see that we have filled four different pixels at the same time with a black color. And we can see one dot here. Same, if we want to fill the whole place with a particular black dot, then we will fill all the pixels with a black color. Then we will see there is a big dot in the screen. So that is nothing but a half toning. So this is the arrangement of black pixels which are there. We will call it as a half tone dots. And in this figure, we see how the, how we uh, see the arrangement of this pixel from a certain distance. If we see it from a certain distance, we will see the continuous tone image. But actually, if we zoom it, we will see it is nothing but the arrangement of certain pixels. So this is nothing but the half tone. So nowadays, half tone can use for color um, colored pictures also. So this technique is used in printers as well as in a publishing industry. Now these are the examples of modern color half toning. So here we have used variety of colors. Okay, so we have used four different colors here and then we have formed certain pattern of that color. And if we see it from a distance, we will get this blue color. Okay, in the same way, we are combining these four colors. Just what we have did here, this, this same color, we will make it as a tiny dot and we will zoom it like this. So we will make the different combinations of color here to get a certain color. We will arrange all these four colors in this pattern and we will see the continuous tone if we see it from a far distance. So we will get different colors here with the help of half toning. Then the next is the dithering. Dithering is a technique to convert a grayscale image to black and white. It is used to create the illusion of more colors when displaying an image which has a low color depth. The missing colors are reproduced by certain arrangement of the pixels in available colors. Now, what happens in dithering techniques? Here, what we have to do, we have to, suppose as we have seen, apparently we have seen here the orange color, but actually it is nothing but a red and yellow color. So if we arrange the pixels 
and we will assign alternate colors red yellow red yellow and if we see it as a continuous tone we will see that it is a orange color but actually it is nothing but a combination of red and yellow so this illustration of, uh, of color we have seen here this process is called as a dithery means what we are doing instead of uh, using the some different color we will process do the processing like this the whatever be the available colors are there we will form different color tones based on this so this is a dithering technique so there are three types of dithering methods first is the random dither in this error appears as a noise noise so uh, suppose this is the original image it is of 8 bit if we apply the random dither here then the image will convert it into a 8 bit and we will see it in this term so lot of noise is there in this image next is the ordered dither in this error occurs randomly in the form of pseudo so as we have seen there also an error occurs but it is in the form of pseudo third is the error diffusion dither in this error occurs over the neighboring pixels so neighboring pixel will get disturbed okay means this is the original image and these are the dither different dithering methods so this is all about the dithering thank you